and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man, and today I want to talk about, in my opinion, what the dangers are about hydrogen water, electrolyzed and ionized water, and alkaline water. I'm just going to tell you guys the way I do things as far as the way I look at things when I want to consume a certain type of water. The reason I don't want electrolyzed or ionized water is, first of all, when it goes through the, le the electrolysis process, you really need a super high grade quality metal. If you're getting some cheap product from China, for example, I don't want that because of the fear that it's going to be leaching the metal. I mean, that's a very common thing to happen when you're electrolyzing water. You're going to leach metal into your water and then that metal is going to have a toxic effect on your body. So that's not something that I would personally want. I also don't like my water electrolyzed because it also affects the pH of the water. And yes, it can make hydrogen, but it also creates ions, these negative ions that are incredibly unnatural within the water. Things like chlorine ions and carbonate ions sulfate ions, nitrate ions, these type of things that in my opinion, I don't really want in my water because they may be harmful to me. I mean, there's something that is completely not natural in the water when you're putting it through that ionization process. It's almost like you're creating your own GMO water or something. So that's not something that I want at all. And so especially with the metal technology though, that's something that's really important because if you're gonna get a super high quality machine, it's usually expensive because of the metal that's being used. So anything really, really cheap or from China or just any really low grade machine, you just better off staying away from it. Now, in my opinion, another reason I, do, I don't want, for example, alkaline water, I don't want alkaline water because I've read research about how it says that your gut is supposed to be acidic. Here's the thing, your gut needs to be acidic to break down food, which helps you with the digestion, which helps you with the absorption of the nutrients, and the acidity also helps kill bacteria in the gut. So I would focus personally so much on the alkalinity of the water. The thing that I really focus on is really the cleanliness of the water. I mean, you can go out in nature and find a nice, really clean spring water, and it might be slightly alkaline, nothing crazy, just slightly. Or you might even get some really nice, clean rainwater that is slightly acidic. And you know, ironically, there's liquids, things like the most alkaline liquids, things like Clorox bleach. Obviously, you don't want to drink something like that. And then you have things on the other end of the spectrum, like orange juice or lemonade. And you know, I'd be down with drinking something like that. So I wouldn't focus so much personally on the alkalinity of the water. I focus more personally on the cleanliness of the water. Now, if I want to make hydrogen water, then that's a whole other thing because I don't want to make any of my hydrogen water using the electrolysis process for the reasons that I already explained. And I also don't like to use Chinese, you know, hydrogen sticks with, you know, I know they got magnesium and calcium and they tell you it's probably great for you, but I don't believe in those type of things because if I want to get my magnesium, I'm going to want to get it from a natural probably food source. I don't want to be getting it from some Chinese hydrogen stick. And I also personally don't trust the hydrogen pills either, at least for long-term usage. I've read some negative research on that also and the residue that it can leave behind. So that's just not something that I use unless I do sometimes use pills, the hydrogen pills for like a really long flight and I can't have my hydrogen water with you because they never let you take your water on an airplane. So I might do that, but for something on a regular basis that I use all the time, I got to make the cleanest water possible. And of course, the only way that I have really found that is really financially feasible to make really good hydrogen water is a 2018 Lourdes Hydro Fix. That's the unit I use because the water that you're drinking, well, for one, it's not electrolyzed at all. The pH in the water is not affected at all. You just get that pure, good molecular hydrogen within the water. And then that does give it a negative ORP. I know there's a lot of other machines that make negative ORP, and I should clarify that, you know, these other machines that do electrolyze their water, it doesn't matter if they have SPE or PEM technology, or they claim to have dual chamber technology, which I find really funny because they don't actually Actually have dual chambers you know or separate chambers when we're talking about dual and separate chamber technology you're talking about two chambers where there's water in both chambers why because in one of them you're electrolyzing the water and in the other one you're not electrolyzing the water so that your water is not electrolyzed or ionized it doesn't affect the pH again going back to that hydro fix the Lourdes the water in the pitcher doesn't get electrolyzed and the pH doesn't get affected at all. You just put the hydrogen in there. It gives you a nice negative ORP of between negative 500 to negative 700 and it all depends on the kind of water you use. And of course they use a super high grade, it's like 99.9% .9 pure or something 
titanium, something along those lines because it won't leach into your water. And this is really what makes the really high quality machines expensive. They use the best metal technology. You know, if you see the cheap stuff, you know, a lot of people say, well, what if I can't afford the proper machine to make hydrogen the proper way? In my opinion, what I would do is just not drink hydrogen water. I would just drink clean water. You know, I do distill my water and I do add some minerals. Um, I've shown them on other videos before. I'll put a link down below if you guys are interested in those concentrated minerals that I use in my distilled water. Sometimes I'll use RO water. Sometimes I use filtered water, but not usually. But I really just want a really clean water. And then the next step is putting the hydrogen within it. And that's it. I don't want no chemical reaction and I don't want any ionized or electrolyzed water. That's the way that I do it. That's the way that's been really beneficial for me. I want to share this information because I've seen so many arguments on the internet about alkaline water and it should be alkaline or electrolyzed and ionized water. And I don't think people really know the truth about all this, but I'm just giving you my opinion, the way I've not only done things, but I've seen it work for myself and family members. You know, it's we've had really great results. And so I just kind of stuck to that formula and the science seems to support it too from you know most of the things I read about the things that I'm mentioning. So I hope you guys found the information helpful. If you did, please subscribe or give it a thumbs up just to let me know that you did find it helpful. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time on the next video.